Hey everyone, Kaylee here. So today I have this very requested Jennifer Lawrence updo from the Oscars. I love it. I think it's beautiful and elegant, but it's also pretty easy. I think a lot of you guys will be able to pull this off. And my friend Jack Jack did a makeup tutorial of the makeup that Jennifer Lawrence was wearing, which is linked at the end of the video in the description box. So to get started, you're going to separate your hair in a horseshoe shape on top of your head and give it some light teasing. This is mostly for fine hair because sometimes when you pull hair back like this, you'll get breaks in the hairstyle. Teasing it helps to knit it together just a little bit. Then use some hairspray and just go over your whole head and kind of go with your fingers through there and break it up to create that really PC look. Then gather your hair from your temples up back and make sure it's a tiny bit bumped. You don't want it like really, really big, but you want just a little bit of lift there and then crisscross your pins to hold it in place. Now you're going to curl the hair that's in front of your ears because it's going to help those twists to look a little bit better and have a little bit more life to them. If you already have curly to wavy hair, you might be able to skip this step, but if you have straight hair like mine, you'll definitely want to curl your hair. And I'm using a 1 inch curling iron for this. Now take about a 2 inch section of hair from right underneath that little bump that we made and you're going to twist it back all the way until it reaches those bobby pins in the back. Once you have that accomplished, you're going to take the curls that are right underneath it or your hair that's right underneath it and it's going to kind of loop right over that twist that we made. So just like that. And then pull the twist back and then you're going to arrange this little curl so that it looks good from the front and the side. So you don't want it to stick out but you also don't want it to be um, flattened against the head. So you just kind of have to play with it. Once you get that where you want it, go ahead and pin that little twisty in place. Then take another piece from right underneath or behind your ear and you're going to pull that up and arrange it just underneath the other twist and pin that in place. Now you're going to repeat that on the other side. So take your two inch section and twist it all the way back in that nice little twist. And then you're going to take that little piece of hair and wrap it around it. That just creates a really pretty twisted look. You can twist it around it even more times if you want. It's totally up to you. And then pin that into place. And then take your next section and it helps if you give it just a little twist or two. And then you just kind of place that twist against the bottom of the others and pin that in place. And to pin, you're just going to pin straight into the hair so that the bobby pin goes down. And then once you feel like it's underneath the other bobby pins and the other hair, you just push it in and you don't even see it. Then you're going to twist your hair into a bun and you can put it in a ponytail first if that makes it easier for you. I just didn't want to disturb the top by putting in a ponytail holder. But basically just twist it, make sure that the ends are secured underneath the bun, and then pin it in place. I like to pin at every of the four corners and then you can pin any additional areas as you see fit. And if you have any little flyaways, you definitely want to make sure that you pin those out of the way as well. And once you have all of that done, your hairstyle is complete. It's, so it is really, really simple at the end of the day. It's just about pulling those little twists back and then making a bun. And you can do that however you want. This is just my method for doing it. And this is Jack Jack's tutorial. You can go ahead and click on the screen if you want to go to that. I love her look for this, so I hope you guys go check that out. And then if you want to, you can also check out my February favorites video, which is linked right here. And that's it. I will see you guys on Monday with another Oscars hair tutorial. And that's it. Okay. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.